Hey guys, Anthony, and we are back to do the uh, final, I guess, uh, playthrough of the Glory Days Boxing Quick Play chart. Um, so this will be the final version, and some tweaks. I mean, it, this has evolved actually two or three times, uh, but the main tweak here is the results 21 through 68. Uh, what I've added, and, and it's uh, worked well, actually made me very happy in testing today, is uh, these are uh, checks for, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's actually results uh, 21 to 46. So in that case, these are power checks. So any, uh, any fighter, which could mean only one or both fighters, uh, with one, two, three, four, five, or six or more power, depending on the role, uh, check for a knockdown TKO. And the way that that works now, rather than separating uh, those in, in different um Rolls meaning knockdown and TKO. So here what will happen is if Frazier passes a power check and Mel Turnbull, if it's an eight or less, we would roll for a knockdown. If it was, um, well, that would be a knockdown. But if he was stunned, meaning nine to 14, uh, we would then do a will check for a TKO. Um, if he, uh, so knockdown, you obviously check for the KO. And if it's uh stunned and then you check for the will check. So those are basically uh, incorporated into the same role depending on what comes out on this or obviously above his uh, chin rating you uh, check neither. So that's the main thing and it's actually made to me a, a big difference and I think it's just about where I like it to be. You know and again this is a, an optional uh, piece and uh, definitely if you uh, would like to even modify this, I'd uh, be willing to give the Excel version so you can tweak ratings, add things you like, and um, you know, tailor it to the way you play the game. So we're going to start out uh, doing a total of six quick play fights here, and in the first four, the one common denominator will be Mel Turnbow, who is a uh, uh, to be kind, a marginal fighter, I guess you could say tomato can or opponent. Um, so he should lose all four of these fights. And we're doing it against a, uh, we'll fight him against four fighters of uh, differing skill. Joe Frazier, Buster Douglas, um, Ingemar Johansson, and Leon Spinks. And then we'll do a Douglas-Johansson uh, fight as they're about even or close to even. And then a Frazier-Douglas fight. So be interesting and I've tested some of these guys in different scenarios but this will be the first time doing this format so we will see how it turns out now again optional when rolling for this round scores uh, you can roll um, three 1d20s or one 1d20 three 1d20s if you want to uh, bring in more variety with the scoring and the way I'm going to do this because all four of or all opponents in the first four fights should defeat Turnbow easily. I'm going to use the uh, one only one 1d20 for those four fights, and then when we get to Douglas Johansson and Frazier Douglas, I will incorporate all three uh, d20s to simulate uh, three judges, obviously, and the differential in scoring that can occur there. So first off, um, Frazier and Turnbow. This is a mismatch. Frazier is a 10 star and Turnbow is a one, which means Turnbow cannot win the round off the D20 roll. Uh, the only way he can win the round is um, something happening here on the uh, action chart, which comes after the round determination. So for this fight, I'm not even gonna roll a one D20 as all these rounds would go to uh, Joe Frazier. And we'll just do the activation chart, and then obviously if something happens where Turnbow wins a round, we would uh, get that off of this. So here we go, as this should be rightfully a beat down. So 86, uh, check for cut on fighter that lost the round, that's Mel Turnbow. And again, these will all be 10, eight, or 10, nine rounds, unless otherwise dictated. And eight, Turnbow is going to be cut. Uh, 15 will be a cut above right eye. So 10, nine rounds, Turnbow, and on we go. No uh, stoppage check there. Uh, 81. Uh, 81, blue corner, double counter punch range and roll D20. If it lands, he wins a round. If he misses, red wins. So this is a chance for Turnbow to win the, uh, win the round. Frazier, red, Turnbow, blue corner. Uh, counter punch range is one to eight. 
double that and a six, so Turnbow actually takes round two. On we go to round three. 22, any fighter with one or more power makes a power check for a knockdown TKO. So here we go. Uh, Frazier will go first. And again, six, uh, he just misses his power check. Turn, uh, Turnbow is a two, he actually just misses his as well. So another 10-9 round for Frazier. Uh, zero, 03, add four to power of higher rated fighter and if the even fighter went around, not applicable, and check knockdown, and then a TKO check if stunned, as I mentioned. So, uh, that will put Frazier at a 10, and seven, so that is within the 10, and we'll roll against uh, Turnbow's chin, and 11, Turnbow is going to be stunned, and we'll roll for a stoppage, and he is not stopped. So another 10-9 round for Frazier. Hopefully that roll made sense, uh, a few extra steps there, but uh, 28, any fighter with three or more power check for knockdown. So that's going to be only Frazier this time, and again, six or less, and six, and Turnbow, 20, he does not even get hurt, so shakes that off, on we go. Uh, 81, blue corner, double counter punch range, and so if, again, Turnbow gets one to eight, and he wins another round. So Turnbow gives a, uh, he's given a little bit of an accounting for himself. We're through six rounds, so under the seventh. 12, fighter with highest power rolls for knockdown against opponent. That obviously is Frazier and can't do it again, but wins another round 10-9. So Turnbow hanging tough. Zero one, add four to power of higher rated fighter and if knockdown scored, it is an automatic knockout. That's kind of a rare one, zero to one. So, 10 or less, and Frazier can't get it done. So a chance to end it right there, doesn't happen. So on to round number nine. Uh, 39, and any fighter with five or more power makes power check, that would be Frazier. Frazier's definitely had his opportunities, Two, and he is successful, chin check for Turnbow. Seven, Turnbow is down, and Turnbow is out. So, beat the chin check, and chin KO is five, we roll a one. So that will be a KO nine for Frazier. And that is the first fight. So we'll move on to the second one now, Douglas and Turnbow, now Douglas, Douglas has eight stars, so eight stars, it's going to be a result of one to 18 goes to Douglas. So Turnbull can win some of these rounds outright. First round goes to Douglas and 19, lower rated or lower ranked fighter with chin KD of three or more, double both KD and hurt ratings and make KD uh, TKO check. So basically all that means is 16 on his chin and 28, so he's going to be at least hurt. Uh, so that's going to be 10-9 round to Douglas if it even happens to get out of there. So 16. Oh, if, I'm sorry. If lower rank... I should read my own thing. If, okay, never mind. So 16 or less, he's down. He is down and five or less, and he manages to get to his feet, but that's a 10-8 round for Douglas. I was looking at 18. 18 is lower ranked fighter, chin, or, uh, chin KO rating of four or more gets caught. So that could have ended that right then, but that wasn't what I rolled, 19 I rolled. All right, so eight, that's another round for Douglas, 89, and that's gonna be check for cut on a fighter with the highest cut rating, that's gonna be Turnbow. And 12, no cut, 10-9 round for Douglas. Round number three. Another round for Douglas and 69. 69, a fighter that wins that round has four more power. He gets two attempts for a knockdown. Douglas does. So first one, he's gonna need the second and misses both. So 10-9 round for Douglas. So you can see how kind of some of the synergy comes into play with power on these. Uh, four, fourth round is going to go to Douglas as well. And 48, um, check for uh, knockdown TKO against fighter with the highest chin KD rating if he lost the round, which he did. 
So, and this is one where um, I don't need to pass a power check. 15 and Turnbo is not hurt. So round four in the books, on to round five. Douglas uh, successfully pulverizing Turnbo. Fighter with highest power rolls for knockdown TKO against opponent. It's going to be Douglas and just misses it. Round six, 18, and barely goes to Douglas there. A close around, 49. Check for knockdown TKO against fighter with the highest chin rating if he lost the round, which he did. So again, uh, we go straight to Turnbow's chin. And I rolled the wrong freaking die. Uh, straight to his chin, he's okay. Another 10-9 round for Douglas. So Turnbow managed to win a couple of rounds against Frazier, not having any success here. Another round for Buster, 95. Terrible judging. Uh, reverse it, and this is going to go to Turnbow. Round number eight. Uh, Turnbow, I did test him in some other fights, and he only went the distance once, so he's doing really good so far against uh, these two. Close round to Douglas, 20. And it's going to be lower ranked fighter if Chin KD or three or more double both. So that is the case. So 16 for a knockdown. And he is down. And is he out? Ooh, he survives. So another 10-8 round for Buster. Two more rounds to go in this one. And it's going to go to Turnbow. 90. Uh, check for cut on fighter with highest cut rating. So it'll be Turnbow's round, but he gets cut. And 12, that's going to be a cut left eye. On to the final round of this one. And 18, close round to Douglas. And 19, that's going to be lower ranked fighter and we're going to double his uh, chin again. So 16 or less, he's down, he's down. And he is out. So, so that is a KO 10 for Buster Douglas. So two fights, two stoppages, and we will go on to the third opponent. That's Ingemar Johansson. Now Ingemar is a six, so it's going to be one to seventeen for Johansson, and nineteen, and we have that double result. That's come up three times now. Uh, Turnbow goes down in the first, and oh, looks like he was going to go out. So ten eight round for Johansson. Another round to Johansson and 42, fighter with five or more power and Johansson just has that. So fighter five or more power gonna make a power check. So 14 or less and three, Turnbow is down again and again Turnbow climbs to his feet. That's two 10-8 rounds for Johansson. Uh, 14, that goes to Johansson again and 12, fighter with highest power rating. That's Johansson, doesn't pass. 10-9 round for Ingemar. Round four. Another round to Johansson and 26. Any fighter with two or more power, so both fighters get to make uh, power checks here. Johansson passes his, so we will check uh, Turnbow's chin first. And Turnbow goes down and he is back on his feet. And Turnbow misses his power check, so another 10-8 round, so three knockdowns for... And the other option here, which I'm not going to do, you can use a three knockdown rule to end the fight when the third one occurs at any point, so that would have been a TKO four. And I actually do like that rule, I'm just not using it in this uh, testing. So that round's gonna go to Turnbow, 62. And check for a TKO fighter, this fighter would lost the round if his chin KD is six or higher. And Johansson's is not. Uh, 69, and that is going to be a 10, goes to Johansson. 69, fighter that wins a round has four or more power, he gets two attempts, Johansson does. So, does not pass that one, doesn't pass that one. 10-9 round, Johansson. Round seven, another round to Johansson, and 26. 
fighter with two or more power. Johansson passes his and Turnbow is down again and he is out this time. So KO7 in that one. Uh, Leon Spinks now fight number four. And um, sorry, Spinks is a five, so five and one is 16, so that's a close round to Spinks. And 45, any fighter with six or more, Spinks does not. 10 9 round. Uh, Spinks again will take the round, 68. And check for TKT, uh, knockdown TKO if chin KD rating is eight or higher, Turnbow's is. So this goes straight off Turnbow's chin. And again, I roll the wrong dice. Seven, Turnbow is down, and Turnbow is back up. Ten, eight round for Spinks. And I'm gonna use the uh, three knockdown rule. Um, not in this fight, but in the last two. Let's show you how that works. Uh, that goes to the rare event chart. It's around the Spinks. So, rare event chart, 86. And 86, both fighters fall through the ropes and clinch. Check will for both TKO. If one fails, uh, if one fails and no contest if both fail. So <laughs> it's kind of wild. So they go through the ropes and We will check uh, TKO rating and Spinks has a higher will rating than Turnbow. His is an 8 and He fails his does Turnbow fail and Turnbow Pulls off the shocking upset a third round TKO of Spinks due to the rare event chart. So TKO3 win for Turnbow, that's, uh, I think I mentioned, uh, well, going back to the old Title Bout 1 game back in the late 70s, Mel Turnbow was in that game, and that game actually is the whole reason I included him in this one. He always was good for um, an upset. So there is his upset in Glory Days Boxing. He, uh, they go through the ropes, Spinks can't make it back to the ring, and he loses a TKO. So now we'll go Ingemar Johansson, Buster Douglas. So now we'll get to where we're using the three uh, 1D20s. Three knockdown rule is in effect. And uh, here we go. So star ratings, uh, Douglas is an eight, Johansson is a six. So eight and a six, it's gonna go one to 12 for Douglas and above that Johansson. And I'm actually, I should have got three different color 1D20s. So when you, when you use the 1D20s, and I'll just, uh, I won't do it on that roll. When you use the uh, 1D20s, you can roll one three times if you're rolling that option, or you can get three different color ones, which I should have done but didn't. So 53 was the result there and check for a knockdown TKO against fighter that lost the round if Chin KD is four or higher and Johansson lost that round on two of the judges card but his chin is not higher. So we go on and we go red, blue, green on the 1D20s. So two of those judges are going to give that round to Johansson and 44. 44, any fighter with six or more power, make power check, not applicable. Round number three. So two of those rounds go to Johansson as well. And 50, 50, check for KD TKO on fighter that lost the round if Chin KD is three or higher, Douglas's is. And this again goes straight to Douglas's Chin. So he is not down, but he's hurt. We'll check now, and he is stopped. So Ingemar Johansson, fourth round TKO over Buster Douglas. All right, on to the final fight of this test, and we're uh, not quite 20 minutes in and have five fights done already. So that's how fast this can go. And again, this will be the three knockdown rule. Joe Frazier now taking on Buster Douglas. Frazier in the red corner. Here we go. All right, and again, red, blue, green. Oh, and I'm sorry, 10 stars to eight. 
So 10 stars to 8, 1 to 13 goes to Frazier. So two judges are going to give uh, Frazier the nod there. 25 and 25, any fighter with two or more power makes a check. So again, when doing these knockdown uh, TKO checks, you will always go with the fighter that won the round first, and that was Frazier in this case. So six power for Frazier, he's got his. And Douglas, he manages to survive, and Douglas goes, and he just misses his. So round number two, Frazier rocks Douglas in the opening stanza. And Frazier is going to get it on two of the judges' cards there as well. Roll of 83. 83, defense check on fight of the lost round. If result is minus one or two, he wins round. If it's plus one, plus two, he loses round 10 to eight. So Douglas needs a one to four to turn it around and win the round and he gets a three. So what happens there is the uh, two judges fit, uh, actually that's gonna be a 10-9 round on all three judges cards to Buster Douglas. So he flips all cards in his favor. Round number three, and it's gonna go two rounds to Douglas. So Douglas is actually outboxing Frazier in this one. 37, any fighter with five or more power makes power check. So that is both of these guys. Douglas won the round, he will go first. Uh, seven, he does not pass his power check. Frazier does, and Douglas is okay. On to round number four. It's a little bit more uh, Douglas giving a better accounting for himself in this one. And this is going to go Two judges to Frazier again. And 22. Uh, any fighter with one or more power. So Frazier going first, and both are going to get to make that power check again. 15. Frazier doesn't get his, neither does Douglas. On to round number five, we go. So another round that's going to go to Frazier on two of the judges' cards. Uh, 44, any fighter with six or more power, and that's only going to be Frazier. So Frazier gets a power check, and 17 does not get that to go through. Round number six. Another round that's going to be split. Uh, 56 on the uh, action roll is going to be fighter. Check for KD TKO against fighter with lost the round if chin KD is four or higher. Douglas is not, so he's good. Round number seven. And that's going to go to Frazier on all judges' cards. And 45. 45 is going to be any fighter with six or more power, so again, that's only Frazier. And he misses the power check. Round number eight. And that is going to be another round for Frazier all across the board. 34, and 34 will be any fighter with four or more power check, or makes a power check. So that's both fighters. Frazier first, round winner. Eight, he misses his, and Douglas misses his. And one thing I, I'm not, I'm not using uh, is the fatigue option. I didn't use it in the first fights and I should have, I meant to use it in this one. So Frazier, uh, both fighters now going into the ninth round are tired, so they'll use their right-handed result column. And again, how the uh, fatigue option works is you divide their total fatigue by 10, which makes Frazier a nine minus one, so he's fresh for eight rounds. Douglas would have been fresh for uh, five rounds. Or actually, uh, six rounds because you round up, sorry. So I missed that, that's fine. Uh, okay, and that is going to go two rounds to Douglas. And 20. 
lower ranked fighter, chin KD of three or more, double both, and Douglas is fatigued now, so he is a 10 and a 20 for chin and stun rating. So he's at least going to be stunned. Uh, five, he is going down, and seven for the knockout, and he managed to, uh, to survive with a 10-8 round for Frazier. So that flips all the cards 10-8 for Joe. And this is your final round. Frazier pulling away in the second half of this fight. And one judge is going to give that to uh, Buster Douglas, 42. And 42, any fighter with five or more power makes power check. And that is going to be, at this point, since they're both fatigued, neither of them. So that is the round, or the fight, actually. So using the... Um, three judges option, you can see that that still didn't take, uh, it took about uh, six minutes uh, to go through a 10 round fight there using all three judges cards. Again, much quicker than uh, the 40 to 50 it takes for a, a regular fight with this. So scoring on this, uh, our first fight that went the, the uh, distance, And I'll add up the scoring real quick. I don't know what fight one judge was watching. Okay. It's kind of cool, actually. It brings in the uh, disparity of scoring. And that 10-8 round also factored into this one. All right, so final scoring on this one, a 10-round decision for Joe Frazier, and judges scored it 97-92, 95-94, and 98-91. So there you have it. We uh, simmed six fights in about 25 minutes because I spent the first couple of minutes talking. So you can see um, four to five minutes, uh, four to six minutes of fight to get through all these. And again, I think this will come in very handy if you're uh, running a big project that involves uh, multiple um, multiple divisions if you have all three release divisions thus far or doing a career replay etc so I'll be uh, uploading this to the Facebook page or Facebook group page uh, right after this video and I'll also be sending it to uh, Joe at sideline strategy to add to the uh, freebie section on um, uh, sidelinestrategy.com so any questions come up on this, again, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, any questions do come up, uh, feel free to shoot me a message, but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this and appreciate everyone who has helped test this. And again, special uh, shout out on that to Paul Govier, again, I hope I'm saying his name right, uh, Bob Bickert, and Jeff Ray. So thank you everyone for the support of the game, uh, Glory Days Boxing. We'll do a um, uh, video uh, right before the end of the year on the plans for 2020 in terms of fighters and uh, also game components. One thing I am doing is I'm upgrading the packaging for the uh, game, um, which, which I think is needed. The game box now is kind of snug on the, uh, on the game charts. You know, these are st sturdy card stock, but they're still, it's still very snug on them. So I got a bigger box and the graphics are going to be different. And, um, I'll get those when I show them. It's going to it's going to raise the price of the base game up a couple of bucks, and basically, that doesn't even cover my cost in the increased uh, packaging. But uh, you know, close enough. It, it gets within uh, 50, 50 cents or so of covering the cost. No big deal there. Again, this isn't uh, this is a hobby and a passion for me, so not not concerned about losing. An additional 50 cents unit to have a nicer box which I think will be nice though but that is it and we will uh, be back like I said uh, I'll probably put up a Stanley Ketchell um, or fit resume that career replay and also doing our 1908 uh, Chicago White Sox replay and we still have the uh, 1969 payoff pitch Ferguson Jenkins replay so again glory days boxing 
uh, available on sidelinestrategy.com. And that site is run by Joe Bryan, the maker of that excellent payoff pitch baseball game. So thank you, everyone, and we will be back. Until next time, keep rolling for that knockout. We'll see you.